going everyone it's Mike the gardener and this is our first garden update it's May 15th and our plants have been in now for about a week uh, as you can see we have some extra plants here some of our plants aren't doing very well you can see there's some sun damage on some of our tomatoes uh, and as you can see over here we had some heavy rains and that just sort of took out some of our tomatoes. So I wanna do a quick walkthrough of the garden, starting with our herb beds. We have three containers of herbs. We have oregano, thyme, flat leaf parsley, a bunch of basil, rosemary, peppermint, I'm gonna be putting some sage between the peppermint and the cilantro. Chives and dill. As for the garden starting in this quarter, these four plants here are super 100s. These four plants are Cherokee purple. These four plants are mortgage lifters. These eight plants are San Marzano Lungo number twos. Unfortunately, they aren't really doing well. So you can see here, I bought eight more plants and these are just generic Roma tomatoes, but uh, that's all our nursery has. So we're kind of stuck with those. And then moving around here. Okay. Sorry, uh, someone just drove by on a dirt bike. So. As you can see here, here are four more Super 100s. They're gonna be replaced with uh, these much healthier Super 100s. They're a little bit yellow. Um, they need to be fertilized. And then moving into the garden, we have uh, some pineapples. And then I have backup plants here. I think these are Mr. Stripies, just in case these pineapples don't make it. They don't actually look very bad. Um, they have a little bit of sun damage. Um, but I think they should be okay. green, evergreen emeralds. Uh, and as you can see, there's, you know, this one looks pretty good, but this one doesn't look very good at all. So I have a backup here. And if they don't turn out well, I do have additional plants. And then here's some more of the San Marzanos. And then we have 16 cucumbers here. The first eight are straight eights. And then the second eight are pickling cucumbers, and we lost a few of those in the rain. And so you can see there's eight replacements there and eight replacements there. Moving down here, we have four more Super 100s. And here we have four yellow, yellow pears. Um, they might be okay. And then we've got, going down this row, we have eight yellow squash, straight neck yellow squash. We do have one container, this large container. Right now there are four black pearls, but they're not doing so well. So I got these two larger yellow grapes to replace them. Uh, so all in all, the, all of our tomatoes might be getting replaced. Um, what happened was there were some heavy rains and so we put them on the porch and then they didn't get enough sun but it was really hot out for three or four days here in Maryland and they got really leggy and so then we planted them and then more heavy rains came and they pretty much got walloped. Right here we have four blueberry bushes. This one isn't doing so well but the other three are they are different varieties of the same type of blueberry, so they should cross-pollinate. And then between those, I'm gonna put in lettuce. So there's 32 lettuce plants. There's green leaf lettuce, romaine, kale, and red leaf lettuce. Here is our pepper garden. We have two four by 12 raised beds with 12 containers in five gallon buckets. So starting here, we have two cayennes. Here we have four cayennes. 
we have two Serranos. These are four lemon drops. These are two chocolate habaneros. These are two apocalypse scorpions that are going to be replaced. They didn't survive the rainstorm. And then there are eight jalapenos, which are ready to be topped. And then four bigger chocolate habaneros. Here are, I actually don't know what these ones are. Let's take a look. These are ghost peppers. Two more lemon drops. Here are two serranos. Here are two cayennes, two Thai dragons. These four are Carolina Reaper. These four are Apocalypse Scorpion. Here are the other Thai dragons. These are Ghost Peppers. And these are cayennes back to the beginning. So we have 56 peppers in total. And we have them surrounded with chicken wire to keep out the groundhogs and the rabbits. And then to keep out the deer, we have these tea posts with fishing line six inches apart with some ribbons. Here's a quick update on why we're replacing the San Marzanos. As you can see, they're leggy and they're just completely covered in dirt and drooping from the rainstorm, and they barely have any root system. Um, but these Romas that we got from the nursery have really good root systems. They're not very leggy at all. They're pretty strong. Um, and so it would be nice to have San Marzanos, but ultimately I think it'd be better to have healthy plants. So right now I'm gonna take out these eight San Marzanos and replace them and I'll get back to you guys once I'm done with that video of how I plant my tomato plants I just go around here and loosen the soil up there already is a handful of worm castings in each hole from our original plants so I loosen the soil up so that the roots can develop and then I pull these guys out and I just pinch off their lower branches and eventually what I'll do is, when they get a little bit taller, say three feet tall, what I'll do is I'll start pruning some of the lower branches off. But for now, I'm just going to leave them. And I like to set them in and then just surround them by dirt. And just push around the plant so that they stand up straight and then just kind of make a mound of extra dirt around them to give them a little bit of stability. And there you have it. As you can see, these new plants are significantly healthier than the plants that they're replacing. Here's an update from earlier. We've replaced the eight San Marzanos with eight Romas. We've replaced our Super 100s with Super 100s. We replaced the four black pearls with two yellow pears. We replaced all of the pickling cucumbers that were damaged with new ones, which was all but one plant. And we had an extra, so we kind of just stuck it in the middle. And then we replaced our damaged straight eights with new ones. And I think we stuck two plants in the middle. So all in all, right now, we are maintaining 40 tomato plants, 8 squash plants, and 16 cucumber plants. And we're going to monitor the tomatoes over the next few days. I'm thinking what's going to end up happening is, you can see here in the front we have 8 Mr. Stripies, and then in the back left we have 8 Cherokee Purples, and then on the back right, we have eight delicious that are ready to go at any minute. Um, and we're just gonna fertilize those and take care of them. So if they need to be replaced, uh, we, we have those ready. Here we have eight Cherokee purples already planted. They seem to be doing the best 
of the original plants. They're a little bit stronger. This one here doesn't look like it's doing so well, but the other three are doing fine. Um, here we have the pineapples and the emerald evergreens. It's a mixed bag with these. You can see they kind of took a beating in the rains. So hopefully what I'm thinking here is if we have to replace them, we don't have to replace all of them. And so we'll actually end up with more varieties than we already have. These are mortgage lifters, and I got the delicious to replace them if need be. Um, they're very similar. The nursery didn't have mortgage lifters, but they did have uh, the delicious. And then the Mr. Stripies are similar to the pineapple, a different flavor, but similar looking. And then the emerald evergreens are, hopefully we can at least save one. There's one in a cup there that looks pretty good. And then there's one there that looks pretty good. These guys got beaten down by the rains. And then around here we have all our other plants and cups. Most of these are pretty sun damaged. Um, you can see here that they rain. Uh, and I already dumped out five or six inches. So we got about 10 inches of rain in the past week, uh, which has caused a ton of problems for us already. Last year, the rain was really bad too. And that caused a lot of issues with early blight and blossom end rot and all kinds of things because you couldn't really control the watering on any of this so stuff. Here's an update on the lettuce. We brought in some topsoil to surround the blueberry plants. And we have eight green leaf lettuce, black seeded Simpson, eight romaine, a blueberry plant, eight red sail lettuce, another blueberry, four kale, blueberry, four kale, blueberry.